actually, he's become kind of a friend. We've connected several times over, uh, over just different things. He loves passive income and I love passive income. And so we connect right away on that. Uh, if nothing else. So we're going to talk today a little bit. We're going to hear, I want to hear a little bit of Dave's story. And then we're going to talk about selling AI design t-shirts on Etsy. So selling on Etsy, and this doesn't have to be, and we'll talk about this, but you don't have to be super creative. You know, AI has opened up all sorts of new ways for people who lacked skills before. Now you have a skill. It's almost like you have a staff member um, that you don't have to pay very much. It's kind of a, kind of a good deal that we've got going on. So we'll talk about that. Um, first off, audience, need you to hit the like button. Also, just say hello if you're here and you're watching. And let me know um, if this sounds interesting to you. What different ways? Let, this is my question for the day for people in the comments. What is your most creative way that you have thought of or seen someone do of making money using AI? That's what I want to hear mm. from you guys. Yeah, I'd love to hear that too. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what people come up with. But we've got Solo from Germany, uh, Guten Tag. That's that's about all I know. I was going to try to say something else, but then I realized I don't know anything else in German. So, but thank you for uh, being here, Richard. Good to see you, Scourge. Good to see you, RX Rob. Good to see you. I hope uh, San Antonio is treating you well here today. And is, if you have questions for Dave, please ask. If you have questions about Etsy and these AI design T-shirts, all these things. Let us know. We'll do our best to answer. So let's start with quick introduction from Dave. Dave, can you tell us who you are? Tell us a little bit about yourself. And then I mentioned before, tell us a little bit about your journey, because one of the things <laughs> I want to do is just tell the people in the audience that anyone can be an entrepreneur. I think, Dave, you would agree that you're not super special or anything like that, uh, but this sure. is something anyone can do. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, well, uh, I started out... Um, online really online marketing with ebay and when i first saw ebay i got so excited because i was like wow i can just put my well i i buy and sell these collectible hot wheels cars from from the 60s like the the early hot wheels cars right and i'm like wow i can just put them up here on this website and i could sell to anybody in the world like this is when the internet was new you know and it was like what you could sell to anybody in the world so that got me really fired up and excited and i started selling on ebay and um, I learned my way around that. It took a while, but once I did, man, I was doing really well on eBay, just selling these toy cars, you know, doing like 10, 15,000 a month, just selling on eBay. And uh, what I like about these kinds of marketplace websites like eBay, and today we're talking about Etsy or Amazon, uh, these marketplace websites make it very easy for you and me, the average person to sell online. Uh, where the traffic is taken care of for you. You don't have to think about traffic. You don't have to pay for ads to generate traffic. The traffic's already there. All you do is put a product there and it sells. You know, So there's more to it, of course. You got to learn a little bit about researching and, and that kind of thing, researching the products that are hot sellers, finding a way to do that. But now with uh, Etsy, as, as you're going to learn a little later, uh, it's everything's so much easier now. So it's very exciting. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to bring this to you. But yeah, I got my start, James, on, on eBay. And then from there, I got excited about selling courses about ways to make money because my mission has always been to help entrepreneurs, uh, help people to start their own business or help people that are already in their business to be successful. So that's been my mission since I was 19 years old. So I'm just carrying on the mission, man, and just keep doing it and just keep having fun helping people. And that's what I'm all about. I love it. I love it so much. I love your goal because that's the same goal I have. And um, I'm actually, I usually wait till the end to do calls to action, but I want to just bring up the course. And what I love about a lot of the people that I bring onto the channel, they have ways to make money, but then to get started, it's cost you 3000 bucks for their program or 5,000 right. bucks for their program, which a lot of my audience is like, well, yes, I'm looking for a way to make money. But if I had an extra $5,000 to spend on this program, <laughs> I might not need to make more money. And uh, so I love that you offer these courses. Like this one's 47 bucks. Um, so that is something every single person watching. If this is if this sounds like something, and I'll have Dave walk you through how this works and if you'll be a good fit for it and all those things. But 47 bucks one time is not something that should hold anyone back. So that's one of the reasons yeah. I love Dave and love what he's doing. 
Um, and he has a number of these courses for different income streams. And we're going to have Dave back. He's going to be a regular here on the channel for a bit because we're going to talk about all these different uh, courses that he has and, you know, pick which one might be right for you. I get asked all the time. I want to make extra money. How should I do it? Here's an option for you. So maybe uh, let's start with kind of a high level. What is this? So the, the title yeah. of the video is making money selling AI design t-shirts. Can you kind of talk through how that works? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's and it's not just t-shirts, by the way. Uh, the cool thing about Etsy is while everybody was thinking, oh, Etsy is this place for handcrafted items, handmade items. Um, I got news for you. This is not your grandma's Etsy anymore. <laughs> OK, so this is now one of the biggest, if not the biggest marketplace for digital products of all kinds. Now, it's hard for me to explain here. I sit down and try to explain to you all the different types of digital products that you can market on Etsy. But it's it's mind boggling. Uh, first of all, you've got uh, digital products like by themselves, meaning, uh, hey, here's an image that I made and I'm selling it on Etsy. I'm, I'm literally selling the JPEG image. OK, and people will buy the image to print it and put it on their wall that they'll like this image I made behind me that I made that in uh, mid journey, which is what this course teaches you. Right. Oh, that's and I awesome. get so many comments on my background and I say, you know, what's funny is I just made this in mid journey. All I did for this image was I typed in the word. This is a prompt typed in the word uh, chaos and put in the rainbow emoji. And it came up with this and it looks like like really nice art. Like, yeah, you know, it's got texture to it and all this stuff. So <laughs> to me, it's just fun to be able to come up with an idea and type it in and then see what this AI does for you. Like James said, it's like having this top level graphic artist in your corner, like working for you, except it costs you nothing. Right. So that's really cool when it comes to Etsy. There's digital products, there's printables, which would be like, again, like a wall art that you you give them the high resolution image and then they can take it to an office supply store and print it, put it on their wall. But there's also really cool, in my opinion, is physical products. Now, physical products, you create the design and I teach you how to do it in mid journey, which is the best by far the best AI image generator on the planet right now. And I say right now because AI is moving so fast, it, it might be surpassed tomorrow. You know, you never know. But right now, it's incredible. Um, I'd love to share my screen maybe a little later, James, to show to show a gallery of the kinds of images that can be made. But the bottom line is, let's put it this way. You type in a prompt, you make this amazing image. Sure, it might take a while to, you know, find the right image or find an amazing image that you want. You can then put that image on coffee mugs, tumblers, smartphone cases, uh, posters. You could put it on T-shirts. You could put that image on over, I think that's two or 300 different products, blankets, pillows. There's even under, like you could have, you could print underwear <laughs> with these images on them, okay? So you could, and the cool thing about it is you connect this print on demand store to your Etsy store so that it's seamless. What does that mean? That means that somebody can buy your mug, your coffee mug on Etsy and it connects to this print on demand store automatically and that print on demand store prints it and ships it. So guess what? You have no shipping. You have no customer service. All you do is focus on creating these images and creating these products, mugs, smartphone cases, blankets, etc. And Etsy does all the, the selling for you. And the print on demand store does all the shipping for you. So you can just focus on, let me just create more, create more, create more. And that's, that's the game. It's really that simple. And what I love about it is you can also find out ahead of time. Okay. What are the hot selling themes? What are the hot selling images? What are the hot selling products, right? You can, you can do this research ahead of time and that way you're much more certain that you're going to have a, a grand slam, you know, right out of the gate. So it's super exciting. It's an amazing way to make money. And, you know, I like to call it uh, snack size pricing. I, I think of this course as like a snack size course because it'll get you up and running and going uh, step by step, showing you exactly how to do this. So 
yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it, uh, James, yeah, as no. you can tell. Yeah, no, I love this uh, because, you know, if you think about the history of business, you used to be able to, like, we'll say even in the 60s, you were only able to do business with the people immediately around you, right? Like your neighborhood right. and maybe even the internet has opened this up where it's like, no, now I can do business with the whole world. And then AI, like you said, has created even another iteration where what one thing that's really held me back in business is I have no artistic ability. I have no <laughs> graphical skills. I've tried painting. I've tried following Bob Ross and painting things, and <laughs> I just have no artistic ability. But with something like AI, it can really help with some of your deficiencies where it's like, OK, I don't know totally. art. AI can generate the art. Like I could never paint that painting behind you, but right. I could AI generate it. So it opens up a whole, whole world, whole new world. Yeah, exactly. I, I get so excited about AI in general because let's say, for example, everybody knows ChatGPT. ChatGPT is like having a, a super brain next to you, right? And say, hey, I, I need this. Can you do this? And boom, in seconds, it does it. Midjourney is like having a super graphic designer next to you or super graphic designer brain next to you. And you know what's funny is when I was a, a, a lot younger, I've always kind of been graphically inclined. I like I like art. I like things like that. I always thought, man, it would be amazing one day if, if you could just say, I want to create this and it would be created. And, and there it is. Here it is. We're here now, you know, because I, I never knew how to get the idea, the the the, the thing, I could draw it maybe, but I never knew how to get that idea onto paper or onto something. Now, gosh, it's unlimited. I mean, it's unlimited how much you can do. The images are amazing. Uh, if if I can, can I share my screen? Yeah, absolutely. Just that present button down, down at the bottom. All right, let's see. Let me share. Then it'll ask you which window or tab. And if you're like me, you have to find between... <laughs> Okay, I videos. think it's this one right here. So let me show you. And this is just the Midjourney Gallery. Okay, so this is just showing some of the images that have been made in Midjourney. And what's really cool, can you see that, James? Yes. Is uh, more recently, they've started to actually have uh, text, which has been a very big challenge for AI in the, in the past with image generation. But now they have text. But look at this. This is like a watercolor painting. So is this one here. This could be on a coffee mug. And these are very, very popular, by the way, uh, just flower design on a coffee mug, OK? But look at the variety of types. Like here is a poster. This could be a movie poster. Here is an interior design shot. Here is just, I don't know what style of art that is, but look at the variety of style of art that can be created. And some of these are perfect for a smartphone case, a coffee mug, a tumbler, you know, the tall water water uh, cups, things like that. But the main thing I want to showcase here is just the variety of art that you can create and then pop those on products of all kinds. And it's so cool what you can do. And I just, some here, sometimes I just go in here and just get inspiration for different types of products that can be made in mid-journey. It's, it's really, really cool to see. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's improving every day. I mean, all the time. Mid Journey wasn't what it is now, even right. a little bit ago. So it's really increasing. My Alexa just turned on too. So we don't, we don't, all, technology doesn't always make your life easier. Uh, <laughs> Alexa is AI it. too. It's talking to you. <laughs> yep, exactly. Probably listening to all my conversations as well. But what, what you going to do? Um, so can you kind of, and, and good question, Kaboom, uh, if you guys have questions, let me know and we'll do kind of a QA here in just a second. Um, can you kind of just walk us through how this process works? So you, you come up with sure. an idea first, I'll, I'll leave it to you. You're the expert, but kind of walk us through how this process works. Yeah. If, if you just went to Etsy, for example, and just did a little search and just typed in the word digital or typed in the word printable or things like that, you would see a huge variety of printable and digital products that are already being sold and are doing well. You can kind of see by the feedback numbers how much is being sold. And you could start getting ideas that way. In my course, I teach how to do the research to find the hottest selling products, the hottest selling designs, so that you're, you're hitting the ground running, right? You're not having to do that initial work of like, I wonder what I should sell, right? Uh, because that's 
what happens with a lot of people when they start something like this is they don't know what to sell. So they just kind of rely on their own mind to come up with an idea. And unfortunately, that doesn't work very well uh, because you're 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 hoping you're kind of hoping. And as we say, hope is not a strategy. Right. So instead, why don't why wouldn't we rather know what's already hot and then do something that's similar? Because the market is already talking and speaking and saying, hey, we really like this particular type of flower design for coffee mugs. And it's selling. James, you might not believe this, but some people are doing like 40, 50,000 a month on Etsy doing this business. Okay. Now, I'm not saying you're going to do that, you know, with my course or any course. Uh, I'm saying, you know, that takes time. It takes like anything, right? It's a real business. It's going to take time to, to dial yourself in to figure it out. But in my opinion, this is one of the easiest business that you could get into because A, you do the research to find the hot selling products. B, you model those hot selling products. C, you create that, that image in mid-journey, pop it onto either a physical product or digital. Now physical is better because, tends to be better because people, you know, Etsy is the place for gifts. It's the place for gifts. It's where most people shop for gifts now, nowadays. And so physical products tend to sell better. And the cool thing about it, like I said, is you don't have to produce the product. You don't have to print the product. You don't have to create the product. You're partnering with this print on demand company that has 300 plus products. I can't even tell you all the products. There's stickers, there's coffee mugs, there's blankets, there's all this stuff, right? And you could, you could see all the products that they have. So model what's working, research to model what's working, create the image, pop it up there. And then every time it sells, a product gets shipped and you are basically collecting passive income. So imagine this, you've got 100, 200. Over time, maybe you got two, 300 products up there. And every time they sell, you're just, you're, you're collecting income. It's income, it's passive income. You do the work up front, you do the work once, and then you get paid over and over again. That's what I love about it, right? It's 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 like what eBay did was connect us with the world to be able to sell things all over the world. But now with Etsy and with Midjourney, now we can create products. Like, you know, like how a lot of people sell on Amazon and they've got to find a manufacturer. They've got to find somebody that can produce the products. They've got to ship the products to their home or wherever. They've got to then ship them to a distribution center. All that stuff, no longer necessary because it's all handled by the print on demand company. So those are kind of the steps. I, I know I kind of went a little long there, James, but those are kind of the steps, but it's super, super simple. It's something anybody can do. Anybody can learn it. And uh, that's why I decided to create this snack size course for you. Yeah, no, I love it. And um, maybe you can talk a little bit about, so I've used Printful before. So that's yeah. the print on demand that I choose. Yeah. Maybe you have a better option, but just so people can kind of see. Um, so these are the products. So you can pick like, let's say you want, you, you're you on mid-journey, you have an idea for a t-shirt, we'll say, a sweatshirt mm -hmm. here. And so you generate some really cool image or something. And then, you know, Printful has all these different colors and all the different sizes that you can put on there. And then yep. basically you're just uploading your image to Printful. And then uh, Printful even lets you connect straight to your Etsy store. Straight to where, Etsy, yep. Yep, where that product is now on your Etsy store. And it'll show that sweatshirt with that image that you put on there as for sale on your Etsy store. Right. And uh, then you're marking it up just a little bit. Um, so, I mean, you're not making as much margin as if you were producing the sweatshirts yourself. Right. But you don't need any inventory. You don't have to, to hold anything. You don't have a warehouse full of sweatshirts and things like that. But you can have an Etsy store with thousands of products that you don't hold any inner, uh, any inventory for. It's pretty amazing exactly. uh, opportunity. Um, can I ask, how much upfront, do you need upfront capital at all? Is this something somebody can start for zero? Or what are the costs to kind of get going with this? Let me think about the cost because there's so little of it. Um, like like when you list something on Etsy, it might cost you 10 or 20 cents for a listing. So there's that cost, I guess. Um, Mid journey, I think if I remember right, I think it's about 20 bucks a month. If you want to have expanded access to it, you can start for free. Um, 
So I think that's 20 bucks a month. And then that's pretty much it. Um, in, in terms of, uh, oh, there's, if you use Printful, like the one you just showed, or another one is called Printify, they have their own associated fees. But those, I believe, those are just when, uh, when something actually sells. Uh, there might be a monthly fee too. So that's pretty much it. And you're in business. You know, you've got like minor expenses to get started. You've got huge upside potential. Uh, you can model w which sellers are already doing well and, and start doing something similar. You know, don't copy. We don't ever say copy, but you do want to model what's working well or what's already hot. And, you know, here's another thing. Right now is a really good time to get started because you, you want to build up your catalog by the time Q4 comes along. When the fourth quarter comes along and it's gift giving season, man, this thing's going to blow up. So this is a really good time to get started. So that when uh, fourth quarter comes along, you've got all these gifts lined up and all these people buying their gifts and it's going to be amazing. Okay. I love that. So I want to note again, for everyone who's watching, my most common question I get is how can I start making money online when I don't have upfront capital? That is by far the most common question that I get. And so guys, this is a way, okay? This is a way anyone can do it. You don't, you, this is one of those things you don't even need really any skills or talents. You really don't need anything. This is for, you know, if you're an absolute loser like me with, with <laughs> you don't have skills, you don't have capital, whatever, this could be an option for you. So I love that. Um, yeah, well, my fandom doesn't allow me to let you call yourself a loser. So okay, well, I, I'm a, I'm a fan thank of yours, James. I watch your videos all the time. So <laughs> thank you so much. They see I was fishing for some compliments there. You know, <laughs> really kind of help with my uh, esteem there. Um, next question. So you mentioned, um, you know, a, a lady who makes 45k a month from doing something like this. Right. Um, what would you say you see as kind of typical results, and how long do, do you does it take to get? You know, I think people can sometimes they see, oh, I'm 45K a month. They put their first product out there and it makes 20 bucks the first month. Yeah. So what's kind of the time frame that you see? And what would you say to encourage people that, you you know, you can't just do one product and expect that to take off? Uh, right. How would you keep people going? I think the main thing is you want to look at it as a business. And if you look at it as a business and you think about what you normally have to do in a business, invest tens of thousands of dollars just to get a business started, invest so much time to just get off the ground or, or, or get started. If instead you look at this as I'm going to put in sweat equity, meaning but I don't have tens of thousands of dollars, let's say, or I don't want to invest tens of thousands of dollars, or I don't have all this time to learn how to be a graphic designer, to learn how to manufacture my own products, to learn all that stuff. So think of that as uh, investment. The investment is, in your case, is the learning curve. That's it. That's it. Your investment is the learning curve. Your investment is learning how to get good at this. Because truthfully, when you do your first, you know, image, it's it's probably not going to be great. And when you do your fifth image, it's probably not going to be great. You know, and when you do your seventh product or whatever, you're still learning the ropes. But in my opinion, the people who win in business and not just this business, any business are the ones who stick with it long enough to build something. I remember an old mentor of mine told me a long time ago, you got to you got to be in business long enough to stay in business. And what unfortunately a lot of people do is they think they're in business when they're starting, but they haven't even gotten to the learning curve yet. Right. They haven't suffered through a few pitfalls and a few down down things or whatever. Uh, so you got to be in business long enough to stay in business. And all that means is have stick to it, just have persistence. No, like have a vision for where you want to go. Start to follow some of the people who are doing really well, you know, in the business and keep that dream alive. Keep yourself going, right? Whatever that takes and whatever that means. Uh, don't be easily swayed by somebody going, oh, you're doing that. What? What, what are you doing? Like, how is that going to make any money? And I think that's what the people that are successful have done. I know that's what, and James, you and I, we've been successful in different businesses. That's what we've done. It's just have that persistence, man, to, to just stick with it and keep going. Because everything else will sort itself out as you pass the learning curve. And as you go beyond, now you're getting into uh, what, what I would call 
you're getting good, you're getting better, and now you're getting proficient at the business. So just understand when you're starting out, it's like anything, it's like a little kid, you know, or a baby learning to crawl, then learning to walk, then learning to run. Then in my case, learning to skateboard, you know, so you're going to want to just take, take those steps and, and learn, you know, little by little. So I hope that helps, uh, you know, helps with understanding that it does take time to learn anything. But in my opinion, when the odds are stacked in your favor, because this is such an easy business, right? Then all you've got to have is that persistence to say, yeah, I'm going to make this, I'm going to do this. Commit to a certain number of designs, commit to a certain certain number of products that you want to produce. Let's say it's uh, 50 products, right? And commit to a certain time frame that you're going to create these 50 products. What does that mean? It means you're just creating 50 images, right? That, that you think are really good, that you've researched, that look good. Commit to a certain goal and then just go after that goal. And once you do that, you'll see yourself at a whole nother level and you'll start to see the income coming in. And then you're, you're going, oh, this works. This is real. You know, it's like, James, like the first time I ever sold uh, a product on the internet was an ebook. And I was, I woke up one morning, I went to my computer, I checked my email and I was like, oh, what's this? $29.95. And I thought it was a bill. I thought it was like an online bill that I had to pay. I was like, oh no, I sold my ebook, $29.95. Look at that. And immediately it, I realized, whoa, this works. This online marketing thing works. And that just changed the trajectory of what I did, right? Because part of this is you want to believe enough to where that happens, where, where it works for you, where you make some money, and then you're now your belief level shoots up. And now it's on, right? Now you're, you're, you're off to the races. Yep, totally. When that first money comes in, uh, that's like a really big motivator. Um, and I love what you said, because I would say the difference between six, I've seen a lot of successful entrepreneurs. I've seen a lot of failure entre entrepreneurs who have failed. They're not failures, but I'll call them, they failed. And the difference is it's not intelligence. It's not connections. It's not luck. It is what you said. Keep going again yeah. before my business where I, you know, was able to sell it for, for 6 million bucks. I had seven or eight failures before that. I tried selling a energy drink that didn't work out. And I created a number of different software products that nobody really wanted. Mm -hmm. I spent probably 50 or 60 hours on a software project that I never ended up selling even a single one. And a lot of people told me, hey, you should give up. You're, this isn't going to work. That idea was terrible. And it was. It wasn't a good idea. It would, you know, There wasn't product market fit, but then I just kept going. Because I wanted right. that freedom, that financial freedom so badly that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep trying stuff. And then eventually something worked out. Um, and and that's, that's a big key. You've got to want it bad enough. Uh, and you, what you just said right there, James, I wanted it so bad. I, I think you've got to just want it bad enough. That carries you through to the first sale. When you make that first sale, like, oh, wow, this works. And now you're off to the races. So just have that belief, have that focus and set a goal and work toward that and just take it in bite-sized pieces, you know, uh, and you'll get there. Yeah. And what, what I would recommend for people is, you know, what, what I see happen is people get really excited. Maybe they're watching the video right now. They get all hyped up like, hey, I'm going to do this. They put in the work to get, you know, their first few products added. They wait a week and, oh, no sales came in. I'm not making 45K a month. I'm going to just go ahead and give up now. And what I would recommend is while you're excited about it, make some commitments. Like yes. say, I'm going to try this for four months. I'm going to add three products a day for four months. I'm going to give this a try. And what I love about this business model is there's really no cost if you fail. Most businesses, if you you know try something and you fail, there's a lot of cost that is involved with that. And so you don't, right. it's not good to just try a whole bunch of things. But with this, there's really no downside. Yeah, you pay the 10 cents to, on Etsy for putting the product out there, but you know, you can do three a day and let's do it for four months. And then exactly. you're gonna have a huge Etsy store. And now if you've done that, if you've done three products a day for four months and you're still not seeing any success, then maybe you can reevaluate, hey, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I'm not doing the right type of images, not the right type of products. Maybe I need to do better at promoting. But make a commitment and then stick to that commitment. Absolutely. It is It is a learning process. It is a, a process of just going from step to step to step. I got a funny, funny story I want to share with you, James. 
So a lot of people know that I'm a skateboarder. And even though I'm 60 years old, I know, I still go to skate parks and I still skate. And I was talking to a good friend of mine <clears throat> and he's a pro skater. He's been a pro skater since the eighties. His name is Lance Mountain. And I was talking about, about, we were having lunch and I was talking about my worst fall that I ever had, which was, I was doing a backside air out of a pool. And on the way back in, my back trucks hung up on the coping and I piled eight feet into the pool, got knocked out, etc. And in my opinion, like in my mind, this is like the most traumatic experience I've ever had skateboarding. And he just casually tells me, he goes, oh, I've done that four times. <laughs> That's the difference between a pro and an, an amateur or not, not even a pro, uh, not even an amateur, is the pro is willing to go and go and go and go. Now, fortunately, you don't have to hit concrete in this business, right? <laughs> yeah. But I, was, I was just awed by that. I was like, wow, what I thought was like the worst thing that ever happened to me in skateboarding, he's done that four times and, and he kept going. And that's the difference is have a goal, have persistence, always be learning and you will succeed. I mean, the, the, the universe will not deny you for you being hardworking and persistent and going after it. Yep. Amen. Well, there's even a, a Bible verse in Proverbs. It's one of my favorites. It says, hard work brings profit. Mere talk leads only to poverty. And again, there's so many people that talk about financial freedom and talk about, oh, I'm, I need this and I need this and I'm struggling. And there's a lot of talk. But what I'm really looking for is people like you, Dave, who have, who go and do, they put in the hard work. Hey, let's do this. Let's put some work in and, and there will be success. Success flows um, when that work is put in. So love yeah, that. Yeah. That's a perfect Bible verse for this too. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, Rx Rob has a question here. He says, I might have missed this earlier. Does the class teach product research? I think that's one of people's biggest questions is picking the right product, not wasting your time, putting things out there that nobody wants. Is that part of what you teach in the course? Yes, that's actually one of the first things we teach because that is foundational. So great question, Rx Rob. Uh, it is foundational to success. Again, you could say, oh, you know what? Um, I just... I just think it would be good to make an image of this, a sunset on the beach, when probably there's been millions of sunsets on the beach on Etsy and very few of them have succeeded, right? But in your mind, you're thinking this would be great. Well, what we want to know is not what we think would be great. What we want to know is what does the public think is great? What are they buying? What are they paying money for? What do they see as a gift and go, oh, I want that for so-and-so. I want that for my brother, my sister, my, my aunt, my uncle, right? What are they, what, what is the data telling us? Not what do we think, right? So yeah, we, we do go into the research. We show you exactly how to do the research on Etsy, how to find those hot selling products. So you can just model after what's already working. Okay, yeah, and Keith says he's printing that verse on a shirt right now. That's uh, <laughs> nice. I, you know, honestly, maybe I will. Maybe when I'm done here, I'll do a short of me just making the Bible verse, putting it on a shirt, and putting it on an Etsy store. Because uh, be it's great. really, it is not very much work at all. It's very, uh, pretty easy to get something like that going. So, love And that. by the way, uh, if you see something like that and it's doing well on Etsy, I mean, it's so easy to, to replicate and so easy... I'm sure there's a whole genre, you know, I know there is because I've been involved in t-shirts before of Christian t-shirts and Christian based t-shirts with Bible verses, with inspiring Bible verses for entrepreneurs or, you know, you name it. But the goal is first do the research and determine what makes sense, what what's actually selling and then go after it. Okay. And I think the second biggest question I get from people on this topic is how do you get traffic to your store? A, a lot of people, you oh, know, they yeah. think if you build it, it will they will come, and then they get frustrated because they're not getting traffic. Do you want to talk a little bit about? I'm sure you teach this in your course, but a little bit about, you know, how do you just get some people to start seeing your store? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we do actually we do talk about it in the course. Uh, this is kind of a beginner's course, so I I wouldn't say we go into it in a lot of depth, but we do explain that on Etsy you can run ads that show within Etsy. So they feature your products, right? And that way you start to get that initial traffic. And that's important, especially over time, as you wanna launch a newer, a new product and you wanna give it some initial boost, run a little ad for a short period of time. The ads are crazy inexpensive. Um, I forget the, the I, I think it's, 
it's got to be like 50 cents or a dollar or something to run the ad and start getting some initial sales, some initial traction from it that way. So that is an important way to do it. Uh, as far as outside ways, there's there's so many ways that you could, for example, tap into a Facebook group or if you have your own email list or whatnot. If, if you already have a an audience, then that would be easy. If you don't, you might connect with Facebook groups, YouTube channels, and say, hey, I can do this for you. I can create a whole line of T-shirts for you. Like, let's say I came to James and I said, James, I could create a whole bunch of inspirational Bible verse T-shirts for you. And he said, yeah, let's do it. And then we could just partner up and split the proceeds or whatever, whatever works. So there's many different ways to do it. What we cover in the course is the basics, getting you started from A, B, C, D. And what I like about it, in my opinion, is it's very step-by-step. So you don't have to know anything about this to start. You just have to know you want to do it. And you're excited about putting images on products of all kinds, wall art, smartphone cases, uh, coffee mugs, et cetera, T-shirts, clothing. You know, you started out saying T-shirts, James, but I almost forgot about that because there's there's so many products that you can put these designs on. So. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Love that very much. This is one of my favorite things. I'm actually, I did, you know, I kind of started on this uh, several months ago, but then I did the thing. I only put three products up and then it was like, oh, you know, I'm done doing this, uh, yeah. but I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to start putting some products up and um, I'll share with you guys in the audience. I'll share with my community how it's going and things like that. So That's love awesome. it. Awesome. Um, let's see a couple more questions. Oh, one other question that I get a lot is, is there concern about this getting saturated now that mm. anybody can do this and just, is it going to be flooded out there with so many different products or well, what's kind of your opinion on that? That's a great question. Well, there's always new products and new hot things coming along, right? There's always trends, uh, trending things on Twitter, X, etc. So there's always new things you could make, uh, these products about. And there's always new products being added as well. Um, so the question, I think the question about saturation is, it's really kind of a race in my opinion right now for those that are learning AI, learning how to do these images using Midjourney, which as I said, is the best, by far the best image generator around. Uh, it's really a race because Midjourney is so new before other people start to go, oh, I can make these images with AI. And they start to see there's a shortcut, you know, an ethical shortcut. And so really you're getting in at the right time because this is the beginning of the AI image generation revolution. It's it's so good, as I showed you earlier, you could you can make photographic looking images um, that look like, for example, I, I made one the other day. It's like kids playing in New York in 19 in the 1940s. And it was a black and white image and it had like the weathering from 1940s and it was just amazing, like photorealistic stuff. Now, <clears throat> for these images for Etsy and whatnot, you may not need photorealistic, but I'm just saying it's getting so good. And so we're really kind of, in my opinion, we're at the starting gate of people catching on to the fact that, but I could use this super designer, this, this graphic design and incredible tool to do this. Yeah, I think we're at the beginning of that. So it doesn't mean there isn't competition. There's gonna be competition like anything, but your ability to rise above that competition has to do with your your goal setting and your persistence and just sticking to it. Yeah, I love that. And, you know, people used to say this about Amazon is they used to say, oh, Amazon's going to get flooded. It's going to get saturated. They're yep. letting anyone sell on there. But what happens is as there's more products available, more users come to the platform. So as right. Etsy gets better and better and better, it used to be if you were looking for a real specific gift for someone, you might not be able to find it and because it, there, there wasn't that much selection out there. But if we're able to get to the point where you can search, you know, a black and red cat on a T-shirt, we're getting yep. to the point where, oh, somebody's made that before and now I can buy that and give it to my grandma for her birthday or whatever. So I think as we get saturated, more users will come and it's actually going to be a rising tide raises all the ships um, type situation. So I uh, 
I'm never a fan of staying out of something because other people are doing it. I would just say, do it faster, get in there sooner, do it better, do yep. it more, work harder. I mean, there's a lot of ways to uh, kind of beat the competition there. That's true. So. That's that's how you beat the, the possibility of saturation. Now, here's one thing I want to give you guys real quick is Etsy gets about 421 million visitors a month. Okay. We probably should have started with that, <laughs> with that fact, James. 421 million visitors a month. I mean, that is a massive amount of traffic. That's monthly. That's not yearly. That's monthly. So you're tapping into this massive buyer database. And again, it's become one of the biggest uh, sources or, or marketplaces for digital products. It's definitely one of the biggest for gifts. So now's the time to get in and start preparing, building up your catalog of products so that when fourth quarter comes along, you're sitting pretty. Awesome. Um, Kaboom Bobby has a good question. Um, can you add a real picture and have AI modify it from there? Oh, uh, good, great picture. question. Yeah, you can actually do that. You can start with your real photo your, or image, whatever it is, and use that as the reference uh, image for your prompt. And that's, that's literally what you do. You upload it to Midjourney. You uh, then grab the link of that image, use that as the beginning of your prompt, and then say, please do this with, with this image. And yeah, you can modify it like that. There's also a, I, I don't cover this in the course, but there's a fun face swapping tool out there that <laughs> I should have, I should have brought some of these, but there's a fun face swapping tool where you can upload your reference image, you know, like let's say a headshot, and then you could have it, like what I did was I had it put me into a Mission Impossible pose where, where Tom Cruise is climbing a building, like a glass building or something, or I had him put, put me into uh, the Godfather pose. And it's eerily amazing. <laughs> it's, it's funny how that works. But by the way, that brings up another possibility with Etsy. And I don't get into this that much, but there's a lot of money to be made with personalized products on Etsy, mm. where, for example, uh, there's people that will produce, they say, send me a, a picture of your dog or your cat, and I will make it into an image of like royalty, like your dog is royalty or whatever, you know, or I'll make it look like a knight in shining armor or whatever. Um, there's that, but there's also all kinds of personalized things. Like for example, uh, wedding supplies, wedding gifts, wedding uh, napkins, there's so much opportunity there on Etsy. It's it's the place for gift giving. And when you tie it in with these print on demand stores, all you're doing is creating the product. Like if you enjoy the creation process, like I do, like I just enjoy creating new cool things. If you enjoy that, you're going to love this course because you, you can now just get paid to create cool things all day long if you want. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, let me think if I had any other questions, audience, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about, um, was just, even if the, the skills you learn from a course like this, so yeah. even if you don't end up using them for this business model in particular, learning how to use mid journey, learning how to market on Etsy product research. Um, do you want to talk through maybe just uh, some of the skills that you learn that oh, yeah. can, I mean, they, <laughs> you add them to your toolbox and you totally. don't know where those things will take you. Totally. Well, well, since mid journey is an image generation tool, uh, and I have my own YouTube channel, I, I love using mid journey to make thumbnails for the YouTube videos. I love using mid journey to make backgrounds like this one, which I did in mid journey. I love using Midjourney to create ads. Sometimes we run ads for our products on the online and whatnot. Um, I love using Midjourney to create uh, ebook covers or course covers and things like that. So, yeah, these these skills that you learn here are going to help you in all kinds of ways. Um, not to mention the fact that you could just hire yourself out to create images for people. You know, and we might be talking about that in a future uh, video, but. There's so much opportunity. So yes, just the skill alone that you're going to learn here is going to be far worth <laughs> the investment in the course. Okay, awesome. And I know we got Andrew. Well, Kaboom Bobby says, where do I sign up? So I put this link there. Um, Andrew says, oh, okay, got the course, win Lambo. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> uh, hopefully that comes for you. And keep, keep me updated too, audiences. You guys get into this and yeah. start doing it. Send me some of your products that you've made. And I'll, I'll feature them on the channel. I'll say, hey, 
Andrew put together a tree, uh, an Etsy store with this. Here it is. And you'll get a bunch of traffic from that. So yeah. um, I left this link. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, one, one, one thing that just came to mind is, um, and, and some people may have heard about this, maybe not, but uh, a few months ago, Winnie the Pooh entered into the public domain, which means that you can now use Winnie the Pooh images uh, copyright free. Okay. And then I think a month ago, the first version of Mickey Mouse, I want to be very clear, the very first version of Mickey Mouse, which is the Steamboat Willie version and Minnie Mouse also entered the public domain, which means you can now make those images. Now, don't be using the new, the current Mickey Mouse. Okay. But what I want to, what I want to explain is that you can now benefit from that, that these really well-loved and, and really like high level brands, because that image is now in the public domain, you can now make t-shirts with Winnie the Pooh on them. You can make t-shirts with the early version of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, et cetera. You can make mugs, et cetera, all that stuff. So it's very interesting when you get into that that other world of public domain and what starts being available and usable now. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, so many opportunities there. So, um, and I love to, one thing I'll say about Dave is he is not doing this for a cash grab, okay? And the, one of the ways I know that is that the course is 47 bucks, okay? If this was a cash grab, it'd be 500 bucks. I mean, you're not gonna make a lot of cash selling a course like this for 47 bucks and, he has a hundred percent money back guarantee. So he, you know, basically you try it out for 30 days. And if you're trying it out and think, okay, no, this isn't going to work for me. I don't want to do that. I don't enjoy it. I hate the process of <laughs> generating art or whatever the case might be. He'll give you your money back. So Dave's a good guy. He's just he, same goal that I have, which is helping average people achieve financial freedom. And so I would appreciate anyone watching this. If you have any interest in this, go try out the course. And worst case scenario, you try it out for 30 days, you paid your 47 bucks, and then you get your 47 bucks back. Worst case scenario. Um, but I think the skills you'll learn, I think you should turn this into a business. But the skills you learn, if nothing else, like this is included, how to get amazing results with AI using prompt engineering. I actually saw a job listing, Dave. Uh, San Francisco, there was a prompt engineer paying 300K a year. That's uh, for, right. For a prompt engineer. And uh, That's right. so, I mean, if you can get <laughs> if you can get in on the ground level on some of this AI stuff, you will be well served. Um, how long is the course? Oh, that's a good question. I believe it's about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Uh, and then with the bonus course, uh, around two hours. Don't quote me the exact numbers, but it's, it's roughly that long. So I think of it as a snack size course but it's gonna give you everything you need to get up and running and get your business started. So that's what I like about it. And if you've ever taken one of my courses before, you know that I don't like fluff. I, I just wanna get right into, let's go step by step by step. I wanna answer every question you might have in the course so that in my mind, it's a fully complete course for you. Okay, love that. And then uh, Kaboom wants to know, how often is the course offered? Do you think you'll be taking this course down at any time, or this is just always available, correct? It's, not only is it always available, but as new discoveries happen or as new changes are made, I will be adding to the course. So it's think of it as like an ever-living, breathing course that you, that you can invest in. Okay. Uh, do you take tips? Uh, if you mean financially, <laughs> then yes, absolutely. But I'm sure, you know, uh, advice, you know, as you guys learn things and, you know, keep in touch with Dave, and like he said, he'll be updating this uh, for sure. Um, do we need to take additional courses? I wouldn't say you need to take additional courses. Uh, in my opinion, as an entrepreneur, we're always learning. We always want to be learning. We always want to be growing. But in my opinion, this course is complete from start to finish to get you up and running and everything you need to know. Uh, if you decide to go beyond that, yeah, absolutely. It's always a good idea to, to get even more knowledge. Like, I'm voraciously learning all the time because I'm just a curious person, right? So I'm always learning about new ways. What, what are other ways people can make money? And I'm always wanting to serve my audience with those awesome ways to make money. So uh, I would say you don't need to take additional courses, but like anything, you know, there's they call it continuing edu education for a reason, right? We want to always improve our skills. So, but yeah. like I said, the, the, in my opinion, this is a very complete course to get you off and running. Yeah, absolutely. And as you grow, 
uh, there might be new skill sets. Like if you're getting up to 45K a month, there might be new skill sets that you want to learn. You know, like I, I'm sure she, Bailey probably has staff that does some of her stuff exactly. for her. She's probably not managing. Because, you know, when you get that big, you're going to start having customer support and things like that that you're going to need to do. Um, yep. So as you grow, this is a great way for you to get started. As you grow, there'll probably be new skill set. If you're making 45K a month, you're going to need to learn how to do taxes, you know, with, with uh, <laughs> that. The IRS, when you're making 45K a month, they're going to, IRS is going to be watching you. Um, so this course won't teach you about how to do taxes, probably. I assume that's not not in this particular course. No, nope, um, not in this one. Not in this one. But yeah, as you grow, there will probably be additional. You don't have to do any additional courses, but there'll probably be things that you'll want to do. Um, as you grow, but again, great way to get started, which is what I think a lot of my audience, um, you just need, need to get going, get going with something. Get started. Uh, yeah. If it's not this, find something else, but find something and start doing it. And the longer you wait to get started, the longer it will take for you to get to success. So absolutely. Awesome. Well, Hey, we will go ahead and wrap up there. Audience. You guys are amazing. Appreciate you being here. We're going to have Dave back on several times to talk about several different, uh, most of them are AI related as well. Um, so we're going to be talking about those. Uh, Kaboom says more money, more problems. Yeah, ab absolutely true. <laughs> um, now there's a lot of, when you get more money, there's a lot of stuff you have to learn. So, but audience, thank you guys so much for showing up. Appreciate you guys coming each and every day. Dave, thank you first for your mission that you have of helping people achieve financial freedom. Thanks, thanks for reaching out to me. That's how we connected initially. So I appreciate that. And uh, thanks for building something that I think is helpful for my audience. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. Awesome. And we'll we'll stay in touch. And uh, guys, pay stay tuned for more Dave content. So <laughs> thank you, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will talk to you later.